Madam President, uh, at this point I would like to uh, recognize for a question without yielding the floor to the Senator from Utah. A question that I have uh, with regard to an issue that was raised by my friend a few minutes ago. My friend, my distinguished colleague, the senior senator from Illinois, touches upon an important point, uh, upon a principle of law that dates back centuries and has application in myriad contexts, one that deals with the concept of imminence. So uh, my friend from Illinois is certainly correct in pointing out that the white paper leaked by the Obama Department of Justice uh, to the news media recently uh, does include some analysis that talks about imminence. It is significant, however, to point out that on page seven of that white paper, uh, the administration goes on to essentially eviscerate that concept of imminence. In fact, it makes clear that this condition, that is the, the condition dealing with imminence, uh, with the idea of presenting an imminent threat of violent attack against the United States. Quote, does not require the United States under this standard to have clear evidence that a specific attack on U.S. persons and interests will take place in the immediate future. Close quote. That's at the top of the first full paragraph on page seven of the very same white paper that my friend from Illinois was quoting. And so in response to, to that question, it, it is important to point out that they've taken the imminence out of imminent. There, there is no more imminence in this standard. And so if, in fact, we're to believe the white paper is the correct assessment of the administration's position, it is no longer an imminent standard. It is something else. It's something of uh, a new development. It's something that was created out of whole cloth by this administration that has nothing to do with the traditional imminent standard. So I ask my, my, my friend, my colleague, Madam President, uh, my friend from Kentucky, whether this is consistent with uh, time-honored notions of due process. Madam President, this is exactly what I understand, and it's a